If you want the honey, you gotta give money. In the case of Gacha Games, the money means game credits. Whether it is in the form of gems or stars, the struggle to get these credits has been a companion for every player the moment they start the game. If you like to get the most stars you can, don't miss out, because today, I'll be listing out every single way to get love card stars in all stars. The simplest way to get love card stars is to log into the game. Like every gacha game, this game also has login bonuses. Just from logging in, you will get 50 love card stars every week. This means you get to scout a single member every week. Sometimes, special campaign may happen, and there will be additional login bonuses beside the normal one. These campaign gives more stars, so be sure to check in every day so that you won't miss out. The story mode is a mine full of love card stars for us to dig into. Each episode and songs in the story will give you 10 love card stars. However, you must be able to S rank the songs to get the full 10 stars, otherwise you will only get a portion of it. Luckily, the requirement to get S rank on these songs are not very high compared to normal live shows. With an average team, most players can get all rewards without any problem. Currently, there are 7 chapters of story and a total of 161 episodes and songs in story mode. If you manage to S rank every song, completing the story mode will give you 1610 stars. This is enough to pull 32 members. In Chapter 2, Episode 10, Part 1, the story requires you to choose a member to contact. The member you contact determines the next song you play in the story. But there is a way to exploit this. Once you clear the song, you can repeat the episode again. But this time, you switch the member you contact. This changes the song you are going to play after the story, and since you haven't played the song yet, the 10 love card stars rewards resets and you can play it for extra stars. This works for all 9 members, so you can actually collect 90 stars in total from 9 different songs. The next reliable source of love card stars is from normal live show. Currently, there are 18 daily songs and 25 normal songs in the game. Each song has 3 difficulties, so the total stars you can get from all live show in the game is 1290 stars. And Ghost also gives stars, but it is more complicated than story mode and live show. First, there are daily and weekly goals. Daily goals reset every day midnight in Japan, or for UTC, at 3pm. While weekly goals reset every Monday midnight in Japan, or for UTC, at 3pm on Sunday. Daily goals give 10 stars, while weekly goals give 70 stars. By completing every daily and weekly goal, you will get 140 stars every week. Here's the list of daily missions. They are quite easy to complete, so no explanation is needed. And here's a list of weekly missions. This mission can be very annoying if you don't have any members that have a voltage skill. Do note that not all voltage members give voltage. Some voltage members increases appeal. Those do not count towards the goal. You need to find members who give voltage directly for it to count. The same goes for this goal. Some members give shield or damage reduction instead of stamina recovery. Besides daily and weekly goals, at the start of the game, there is a specific group of goals called School Idol Introductory Goals. The introductory goals are split into two parts. Here's the translation for the first part. They are quite easy to complete, just like daily missions. The tutorial is found in this question mark button. Simply read through everything inside and you will get 400 stars. The other goals in the first part will give you another 80 stars. After finishing the first part, here's the mission in the second part. The second part gives 130 stars and you can gain a total of 610 stars just from these introductory goals. Other than that, there are goals that act as milestones you reach as you progress through the game. They include collecting and idolizing a number of members, and also increases bond level and read bond episodes. Leveling up bond level gives you additional stars apart from the ones from goals. For every 10 level reached, love card stars will be rewarded instead of memory. The amount of stars increases every 10 levels, up to 50 stars at level 50. One goal requires you to link your school idol ID. To do this, click the menu button, then click this button and it will bring you to school idol ID website. If you don't have an account yet, create an account and you're done. This awards you 10 love card stars, but more importantly, it protects you from losing your account as you may retrieve your account back with school idol ID if you lost it. There is one objective which is, Clear a live show with a team consisting of 3 or less different members. What you need to do is, build a team with only 3 members. They can be any rarity as long as they are the same member. The difficulty you play also doesn't matter, so for beginners you can build a team with friend members and play an easy song and still count to the goal. By doing this, you will get 30 stars.
The final goal I'm going to talk about is the hardest. It requires you to get perfect life a number of times. Perfect life can only be done by getting all wonderful in a song. There is no way to get this other than having good rhythm because there is no perfect lot in this game yet. However, the difficulty of the song doesn't matter, so you may try completing this mission through an easy song. But on the bright side, at least this mission is not in School Idol Festival, otherwise players will be pulling their hair off trying to complete this mission. Love Cast Stars can also be found in events. Once you reach a certain amount of points, you will get Love Cast Stars. Event mission also contains stars, although not as much. The mission requires you to complete event song 100 times for a reward of 20 stars. In this case, the song is Bokurawa Imanonakade. This is still better than nothing. And it's not much, but I'm not going to complain. As long as it's free, it's good. When you upgrade your member in the skill tree, you can see a bar below. The bar shows how many nodes you need to unlock before you can get love cast stars. If you upgrade a member enough, you will get stars from it. For the purpose of getting stars, you can choose to use some resources you have to upgrade them. But if you haven't reached the point where you no longer need to worry about your macaroons, do not do it. It is best to save the resources to upgrade a stronger member. The first star can be obtained by upgrading every single node found without performing limit break. But if you want to fill up more of the bar, you need to perform limit break first to unlock more nodes. The final way to get love cast stars is from the shop. I don't encourage you to spend money on the game, but if you insist to, here's how the shop works. There will be special packs available and these packs give more materials than it should. There are many packs in the shop, but I will categorize them into three types. The first type of packs is the UR pack. These packs give you a guaranteed UR and lots of love cast stars. Because of that, it is the most expensive pack in the game. There is also a smaller UR pack that also gives a guaranteed UR, but the difference is the ticket from the bigger pack gives 10 pulls that guarantees 1 UR. This means a player can draw more than 1 UR from the ticket in the bigger pack. While in the smaller pack, the ticket only allows 1 pull, so there will be no chance of getting multiple UR from it. The amount of love cast stars from the smaller pack is also less than the bigger pack. The second type of pack is the resource pack. These packs give resources in addition to love cast stars. If you don't want to spend too much in the game, these packs are your best choice because they are relatively cheap. Finally, there's a monthly pack. This pack gives you 100 stars every day for 30 days, and in the final day, you will get 600 stars. It has the same cost as the big UR pack. You will get a total of 3,500 stars from the pack, and this pack gives the highest amount of stars in the entire shop but the stars it gives is not considered as paid stars. Paid stars are special type of stars that can only be gained by paying. These stars can be used on a special type of gacha that allows a daily pool with the cost of only 10 paid stars. Sometimes, a UR guaranteed gacha will also appear. You can only use paid stars on these gacha too. Therefore, if you have more than 500 paid stars, you should always save them for a UR guaranteed gacha. If you want to get more paid stars, you can always buy them directly from the shop. These stars will be paid stars, so you can use them on the daily 10 star gacha and the UR guaranteed gacha. Before ending this video, I still like to say that I do not encourage you to spend money on the game. The content mentioned above is simply for the purpose of listing out every single way to gain love cast stars in the game. Game credits are very expensive, so please manage your own expense before spending. That's all I have for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe for more All Stars content.